Okay, for this video we're going to be drawing ISO line number 5. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select either a new part, or I can click here and select a standard inch part. Okay, once again we're going to start with the 2D sketch. We can click here, we can right click and select new sketch. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start in the front view on this design. And once again, there's different ways to approach these drawings. Whatever you think is comfortable and makes more sense to you. But I'm going to go ahead and approach this in the front view, which is the XY plane. So I'm going to click here. And always keep an eye at how you're viewing the front view. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a rectangle, two-point rectangle. I click once at the origin. I'm going to move up and over, and this has a length of four. I'm going to hit my tab key and a height of 2.5. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. We can see that the model or the outline is going off, so we're going to select the zoom all or double click your mouse wheel. Okay, and I'm just going to start by drawing just two rectangles. I'm not really going to pay too close attention to how big they are because I want you to get used to being um, as a quick and efficient with your drawings. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw something like this. And now it's just a matter of making sure that these are the correct size. So once again, we have this tool called Dimension. I'm just going to add a few dimensions here. I can go ahead and click once here. I can click here. I can click here. Uh, according to my design, I know these are 3 fourths, 0.75. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and jump over here as well. Click, click, and I know that this is also going to be 0.75. Okay, you'll actually notice that this is what Inventor tends to do. It actually moves both pieces of geometry simultaneously. Okay, it's like it knows what we want it to do. Let me add one more dimension here. I need to know the distance from here to here. And according to my design here, if I do some math, this is going to be one and a half plus one and a half is three. This is going to be one inch. Okay. Now we do have a little bit of an issue here, which is easy to fix. You can see that this is definitely off. So let me add one more dimension from here to here. And according to my drawing, this should be 1.5. And this now looks like the example on the paper. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish sketch. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna finish sketch. I am forgetting one thing, which is something I wanted to show you. You can see we have some geometry here. We have some lines here that actually need to be erased. Now we can't right click on them because that'll delete the entire line. So instead we're going to use a tool up here called Trim. Okay, With Trim it's a way of removing part of a line. You can see it's basically going to remove what stops both at these two endpoints. Okay, So we're going to Trim. We're going to come over here. We're going to Trim. Okay. Um, it looks like I had to select this twice to actually get rid of it, and you might find the same thing. Sometimes it's a one click, and sometimes it might be you have to click a second time. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketch. I'm going to go ahead and zoom all, and I want to go ahead and select extrude, and I'm going to have this actually extruding in the opposite direction, a distance of 1.5. And I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Once again, zoom all, put it in the home position, and go ahead and save your work in your ISOLINE ISOCIRC folder on the H drive.